From Zamfara State comes the report that it, the state has recorded 21 cases of polio virus in five local councils considered to be the worst hit by activities of armed bandits and kidnappers within the last eight months. That's according to the Sultan of Sokoto, Sa'ad Abubakar. The local councils affected by the virus include Gasao with seven cases, Maradun six cases, Gumi five cases, Maru two cases, and Bungudu one. The monarch represented by the Emir of Argungu stated this at a meeting with traditional rulers from troubled communities in Zamfara. The meeting was organized by the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency in collaboration with the Sultan Foundation for Peace and Development. We know the situation in Zamfara. Uh, Zamfara suffers from a uh, uh, devastating case of insecurity. And uh, we are here to discuss with community leaders, essentially AMS and district heads, so that we can hear about the situation in their areas of administration and listen to them as to how best they think uh, we can deliver vaccines to everyone in their community, no matter the situation. Well, uh, the channels we use to collect the data to identify communities that are either displaced or totally under the control of bandits was uh, through information submitted to us by individual emirates. And uh, we felt uh, there is need to really identify those areas because all these cases are from areas that are inaccessible. So we said that we need to know exactly how many communities, not only in Zamfara, but in Sokoto, KB Zamfara, Kasina, Kaduna and Niger states. Our efforts to reach children in security compromised settlements require a multi-pronged approach. First, we must strengthen partnerships with security agencies to create safe corridors for our health workers. Their commitment to this cause is commendable and ensures that our health workers can carry out their work without fear. Secondly, Community engagement is very important. We acknowledge the traditional institutions as one of the pillars of our, our communities. And your influence can really help us break down barriers of, of distrust and misconception. By actively involving the community, we can build trust and understanding of the importance of vaccinations, thereby fostering a sense of ownership for the health of our children. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.